What'd you guys think I was gonna leave you tankless today? No, I know it's a little late of a video, but that's just because the first one took so goddamn long to render. Um, I don't know why. Something about stream footage. Maybe it takes longer to render. I have no idea. It's also a long video. It was like a 20, 20 minute video. But today uh, we're taking a look at T32E1, which is a new 7.0 American heavy tank. It is very, very similar to the T32. Uh, the only difference is the way the upper front plate connects with the side armor. It's completely flat, and then there's no bow gunner on the upper front plate on the T32E1. Now, a lot of people might say that this doesn't make too big of a difference, and you would be kind of correct, but the, the, the issue with this is when you're in an up tier, the way the tanks penetrate you in the T32 anyway is they go through your bow gunner or the lower front plate or the side because you've moved. And that's fine, you're never going to stop dying to the side, dying to the side of the turret, or dying to the bow gunner in the t32 you just try to stay hold down but with this one you can kind of get a little bit more confident with how you peek over corners and stuff it still has 10 degrees of gun depression same gun uh the only burden on this tank is the reload it's about 16 seconds when it's spaded um and you know obviously we get down to like 15 maybe 14 i think I, I could be wrong with an ace crew um but regardless it's a heavy tank reload on a 90 mil gun so it's not like a 122 it's not it doesn't have that type of hitting power it's still a really good gun though and i think this tank at 7.0 will be fantastic that's why i wanted to touch on it now i didn't play it though because on the dev server you can't really get a feel for things so just expect this one when the live server comes around to getting 1.83 expect it as a normal video i can't wait to play it because the t32 again that tank used to be 6.7 when it was added to the game and you didn't know if you were looking through a bush kind of if it was a t32 or an m46 and the difference is the m46 super easy to pen squishy little tank but the t32 mama don't go down so uh yeah it was a pretty big difference on that on that so now it's 7.0 and it still stops and then secondly in this video i'm taking a look at the su57b now while i'm ripping on this tank it does have a good gun for the tier at 4.0 and it's not a bad backup. Now, I said it had 92 horsepower, sarcastically. I don't think it's that fast of a tank. I don't think it's going to be that fast of a tank. But regardless, with a decent... I think it has decent gun depression, like negative 5. Um, kind of follows the Russian trend. But that gun, mark my words, will do work at 4.0. I think it'll be great. And it's not a bad addition to your Soviet lineup. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm going to cover the T80... BV, which isn't necessarily a T80BV, I guess it's the T80B with the Conant, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not Russian, but it's a different style uh, ERA brick layout, I guess, than the T64BV, T80BV was never really a thing, I guess. Regardless, that's just hearsay, I'm no military expert, I'm just playing some vehicles in a video game, so yeah, I'll, I'll cover on that tomorrow, so expect that. And I do want to talk a little bit more about the chopper flight models and the RP changes. So expect a nice stream tomorrow, an RP video, and on top of an RP video, a T80BV. So uh, enjoy this video, a little, little sneak peek at the T32E1 and the SU57B. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name's Slick. Today, we're going to be showing the dev server. Let's start off with America with my favorite edition currently, T34E1. Uh, no, T32, my bad. I said it wrong, because I'm an asshole. But uh, let's take a look at this thing. I'm excited. Oh, huh. Look at that upper front plate. What are you What are you talking about? You're penning this? Yeah, right, kid. 50, uh, 58 degree angle. Mantlet's still 3 hundo. 3 scundo. Mm. Mm. Let's take a look at the modifications. I'm sure it gets a better round. We have 200 pen. No, it doesn't get a better round. It's just got better armor on the upper front plate, I believe. No bow gunner, which uh, makes it easier to be non-penned. Let's, uh, hold on. I want to put this in a crew so I can show you what I mean. Oh, I'm rock. Rock solid, mate. Why is, uh, why am I getting notifications? Drop frames. Yeah, they're going down. OBS, relax, all right? They were bad in the beginning because I was just being bad. So uh, it's the same upper front plate, but as you can see, it's like different at the same time. And this bow gunner really gets you killed a lot. Oh, no, I'm not saying it doesn't have a great gun. I just figured it would get a better uh, round. Oh, you said it, you shoot again. Okay, well, you're disrespectful. But um, yeah, here we go. So we have the bow gunner. And this is a really easy pen if you're shooting at it from the side. 
It usually goes in and kills everything. These allergies are on something, I swear. Oh no. All right, I think I'm good. Let's go back and look at that E1. So um, I wanna see if it has less crew. Yeah, nope, machine gunner's still there. He's just sitting there looking at nothing. Um, but yeah, we get this awesome upper front plate. And the side armor is also more flat. So I would assume that it's just gonna angle, it's gonna be a beast, you know? It's gonna angle way more. Bounce more shots on the hull. Turret's already fucking lethal, and it's the same BR. So that's sick. I'm 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 happy they added that. I mean, we've been wanting um, the E1 versions of things for a while. I wanted the E1 M103, which would be sick. But we do have something that's pretty unique and pretty funny looking: the SU57B. So if we take a look at this disgusting vehicle at 4.0, I mean, absolutely disgust. What else do I need to say on this thing? That is fucking putrid. It looks like. Uh, so looks like if you go have a lot of Spanish food and then take a trip to the porcelain, this is what is in the porcelain when you, uh, when you open or you fucking go to flush. Like, this is fucking ugly. It's a spud cut the wrong way. I don't even know what to call this. But armor, uh, looks can be deceiving, so. Let's take a look at this armor. And, yeah, per usual, it's red. 25 mils, solid at 4.0. Not gonna bounce jack shite. It gets the 70 or 57 mil gun. It looks pretty similar to, I don't even know what it looks similar to. About 130 pen at that BR. It's not bad. It's probably gonna be a decent tank. And uh, it gets a solid 92 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. So uh, now that we looked at the most anticipated thing from the dev server, I think we're good here. I'm gonna go, just leave it on this. Uh, this is all we wanted, right? This is what we've wanted? No, I'm kidding.